السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أبناء الطلاب طلاب الصف الخامس بمدرسة الأندلس الابتدائية الخاصة للبنين How are you my dear students? I hope you are okay Today we are going to revise new lessons in module 3 Let's learn We are going to study our world part 2 Let's talk project 1 and project 2 and phonics my dear students these lessons are in your student book pages 34 35 36 37 and 40 you are going to study these lessons at the week 24 to 28 October 2021 by the end of this video we will be able to talk about endangered species to introduce adverbs of manner to introduce units of measurement to talk about track and field events to introduce units of time, to introduce the comparative and superlative form of adverbs, to read an article about a famous athlete, to write an article about one's favorite athlete, to practice the pronunciation of O and O sounds in the OW digraph to say a phonics chant or poem. Now my dear students, let's start with the first lesson for this week, which is our wallet. At the beginning we have new vocabulary here, so let's listen to it. Module 3. Our world. 1. Vocabulary Fur Weight Length Bamboo Hunt Meter Centimeter Kilo Kilogram Way Endangered Species Male Female One Hundred Two Hundred Four Hundred and Fifty Seven one thousand now my heroes after listening to the new vocabulary here we have to read this text then answer the questions where do these animals live so let's listen to the audio track for this text Two. Read and answer. Where do these animals live? Endangered species. Some animals are endangered because people hunt them or destroy their homes. Let's look at two endangered species. Giant pandas. Giant pandas live in forests in China. They have got black and white fur and they are about one to two meters tall. The male is bigger than the female. A male weighs about 160 kilos, and a female about 125 kilos. The female panda usually has one to two babies every two years. Giant pandas can swim very well, and they can climb trees too. Their favorite food is bamboo. They eat a lot of it. Snow leopards. 
Snow leopards are large cats. Their body length is between 90 centimeters and 130 centimeters. They have also got a long tail. It is about 80 to 100 centimeters long. They live high in the mountains of Central Asia. Their fur is white and grey in winter and yellow in summer. They can jump really far and they run fast. Snow leopards eat meat. They hunt early in the morning or late in the evening. Now, my heroes, let's move to the questions here. At the first part, read again and complete the fact files. Here, it's about the giant panda, the first. So, lives. So, who can tell me where does the giant panda live? Yes, in forests in China. What is the weight of the male and the weight of female? Great, good. The male 160 kilograms and the female 125 kilograms. Babies one to two babies every two years. Eats yes, bamboo. It can yes, can swim very well and can climb trees. Excellent. Let's move to the other file here about the snow leopard yes it lives in the mountains of central asia body length 90 to 130 centimeters fur color in winter it's white and gray in summer it's yellow it eats meat it can jump far and run fast Great. Here, my dear students, let's listen to this. Look, books. My mother can paint beautifully. I like his paintings a lot. Can a crocodile swim? Well, this bird can fly high in the sky. Here, my dear students, these words with the red font are adverbs. Adverbs are words that describe verbs. Adverbs are words that describe verbs. It's different from the adjectives. Adjectives are words that describe nouns. For example, the man is strong strong here is an adjective who is strong the man so the word strong or the adjective strong describes the noun man but here my brother can paint beautifully so the word beautifully is an adverb it describes the verb paint how your brother can paint he can paint beautifully so beautifully here describing the verb paint also we have the adverb a lot and the adverb will huh. how can the crocodile swim the crocodile can swim well this bird can fly high so here the adverb high is describing the verb fly also we have here down we have the adjective slow the adverb is slowly. The adjective is beautiful. The adverb is beautifully. The adjective is happy. The adverb is happily. Good. The adverb is well. High. The adverb is the same. High. Fast and hard. The adverb are same. The adverbs are same like the the adjectives. Here we have a listening track. Listen to it, then we put true or false. Four. Listen and write T for true or F for false. Hi Matt, what are you doing? Hi there Dan, 
I have a school project to do, and I'm looking for information about an endangered species. Which one? The mountain gorilla. Nice choice. I can help you. I know a lot about mountain gorillas. Great. Let's start. What can you tell me? Well, they live in the jungle. These jungles are in the mountains of Central Africa. Africa is the only continent with mountain gorillas. That's interesting. What else? The mountain gorilla is the largest gorilla. Mountain gorillas are tall and strong. Males are about 1.8 meters tall and weigh about 220 kilograms, but females are smaller. That's big. What do they eat? They eat fruit and plants like bamboo, but they don't drink a lot of water. They live in groups of 30 and they can climb very well. Wow, they are amazing animals. Yes, they are, but they are endangered. People cut down the forests, and they can't find food. There are only around 700 mountain gorillas in the world today. That's so sad. Thank you for helping me, Dan. No problem. Now, my heroes, after we listened to the track, let's answer the six questions here. Number one, the mountain gorilla is endangered. Is it true or false? Yes, it's true. Mountain gorillas lives or live in Asia. Yes, it's false. Why? They said in the audio track that they live in Africa. The mountain gorilla is the largest gorilla. Yes, it's true. Female mountain gorillas are taller than male mountain gorillas. No, it's false. Mountain gorillas drink a lot of water. Also false. There are around 700 mountain gorillas in the world today. Yes, it's true. Here, look and say. You can use these words to form a sentence like the one the girl is saying. Like, I can cook well, but I can't jump high. For example, I can speak English, but I can't swim. I can speak English well, but I cannot swim fast. This is an example. So you can use these words in the books down here to form examples like this one. I can cook well, but I can't jump high. Now my heroes, let's, let's move to page 36, which is let's talk. Let's start with the vocabulary. Module three, let's talk. One, vocabulary, race, javelin, high jump. Throw Minutes Seconds Now my heroes, after listening to the vocabulary, let's move to number two here. Activity two, it's Listen. Burns threw the javelin further than Jones. Gibson threw the javelin the farthest. Here, my heroes, we are going to learn how to use comparative and superlative adverbs. For example, here at the first picture, we have javelin throw. Max Jepson, his number is 87.62 meters. Ed Burns, 87.50 meters. Bart Jones, 86.98 meters. At the second picture here, in the 100 meter race, Jerry Childs, 
9.62 seconds. Calvin Evans, 9.74 seconds. Alex Parsons, 9.77 seconds. So here, if you look here, the two boys are talking and using the comparative and superlative adverbs. The first boy said, Burns throw the javelin further than Jones. And Jepson here, let's see it together. Jepson threw the javelin the furthest. So here he used the comparative adverbs and here he used the superlative adverbs. Let's move to this one. I can run the fastest of all my friends. Here he used the adverb fast in its superlative form to say that he is the fastest person in the class or the fastest person between his friends. I can run the fastest of all my friends. For example here, if you have the adjective good, the adverb is well, the comparative adverb is better, the superlative adverb is the best. And here for bad, we have badly, worse, the worst. We have high, higher, the highest. We have fast, faster, the fastest. We have far, farther, the farthest. Or also you can use further or the furthest. Both are correct. Now my heroes, let's move to the project in page 37. Here, look at the picture and the title of the article. Do you know who this person is? Read and find out. Module 3 Project. Run. Look at the picture and the title of the article. Do you know who this person is? Read and find out. The Top Stars News. This week's famous athlete, Mutaz Esa Barshim, by Walid Khan. Mutaz Esa Barshim is a famous Qatari high jumper. He is from Doha, Qatar and he competes for the Qatari national team. He won the first Olympic silver medal for Qatar in the 2016 Rio Olympics. Mutaz Esabarshim is tall and thin. He has got black hair and brown eyes. He loves athletics and he practices hard. When he was younger, he went to the local sports club with his dad and learned to love sports there. He tried running and long jump as a young boy. But because he was better at the high jump, he chose to train in high jumping in Doha at the Aspire Academy for Sports Excellence. When he was 19, he won his first gold medal at the 2010 Asian Indoor Athletics Championships. He has got two Olympic medals one bronze from the Summer Olympics of 2012 in London, and one silver medal from the 2016 Summer Olympics in Rio. He has got many more medals from other championships too. Here, this week's famous athlete, Mataz Isa Parshan. So, after reading this, article as a model you have to learn how to write a similar one for your famous athlete first of all here you have to write the title of your article in big capital letters like this then draw or stick a picture of the person you are writing about after that write your name under the title of the article like this by Walid Khan. So Walid Khan is the writer of this article. Here, write about what this person is famous for. 
After that, you have to write about his or her appearance. Here, you have to write about his or her past life. Finally, you have to write about this person's achievements. Here, in the writing tab, use adjectives to make your sentences interesting. Use adjectives to describe people. For example, Mu'taz Isa Parsham is a famous Qatari high jumper. He's tall and thin. Use because to give the reason for something. Because he was bitter at the high jump, he chose to train in high jumping. Use to to add something else to what you have already said. For example, he has got many more medals from other championships too. Now, my dear students, let's go to the last lesson for this week, which is phonics in page 40. Here, listen and say. Module 3. Phonics. 1. Listen and say. O. O. Slow. Pillow. Ow. As you can see here, my dear students, we have two sounds formed by the D graph O W. Here we have O, O, like the word slow and pillow. And here we have OW, like the word cow and down. Here, let's listen to this and circle the O or OW words O sounds and OW sounds O sounds we will put a circle OW sounds we will put a line listen together two listen and say then circle the O sounds and underline the OW sounds. In the town of Small Bay. In the town of Small Bay. It's a sunny day. A cow is near the tree. Okay, my heroes, now let's circle and underline the words here in the town. Yeah, this ow. So we put a line here. We have cow ow. So we put a line here. We have town again line. Here we have throwing. So it's circle. And here we have town again. And also we have windows and perros. Now my heroes, we have reached to our lessons for this week. Please study hard and stay safe.
your students for your time. Have a nice day. See you next week. Goodbye. شكرا على وقتكم أبناء الطلاب ولقاؤنا في الأسبوع القادم إن شاء الله وقدر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته